It's time for some nine up and nine down with Julian McWilliams of the Boston Globe. So my friend, I'm gonna hit you with nine questions. You're gonna deliver to us nine answers, kind of rapid fire style here. We'll start with Michael Chavis. Wasn't happy about being optioned. How soon until he joins the big guys in the big club? Well, Alex Cora said something interesting. He said that, look, it's gonna take more than 26 guys to you know, to make this roster, to make this team go. So I would expect him to be with the team at some point soon. You know, Christian Arroyo, he was out of options. So, um, you know, they're going to see what they have with him. But, you know, thing with Michael, he was, he was expanding the zone just like he was last year toward the end. So they want to see him make that adjustment. But he, he, he had some promise. He showed some promise there at the plate during the spring. And I expect him to be here at some point contributing to this Red Sox team. All right, Erod likely to start the season on the IL here. Where's your confidence level in him having a healthy 2021? I mean, the thing that we've learned through this COVID thing is like it's it's a moving target, right? He looked great during the spring, but then they said, look, he had some dead arms. So if he is healthy, it's it, it's bodes well for the Red Sox, and I expect him to 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 make somewhat of a contribution this year and be 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 the sort of the linchpin to this to this rotation. But I think, as we know, that, that with COVID, it's been up in the air. So hopefully for him and the Red Sox, he's going to be good because he's a he's a key contributor to that team, as we saw from last year when they were missing. Yeah, Tanner Houck now in line for a Saturday start. What does his future look like in this rotation? I, I mean, look, with Sale down, with, with Erod up, and with, with the question marks with Erod, I think, you know, Tanner's a person that they looked to last year a lot, especially specifically toward the end. And he responded by having three great outings. So uh, I think that, that he does need some reps at the minor league level, as you can see through some of his starts that weren't that great in the spring. Now he bounced back in his last start, but at the same time, I think he needs some reps at the double A AA and triple A level to surely just put him put himself in the, in the, in the, in the conversation for the rotation. 